Hi guys, I thought I'd do this quick screen capture to um, address the micro jitters and shakes that some solos have. Um, yes, I know, you know, of course, uh, balancing the props and doing the HDMI mod uh, and such are good roads to go down. And I've actually done both of those things and I still have the jitters. So I started looking for a software solution. So anyway, let me just show you um, a few seconds here of this video that I took, okay? So you can see the micro jitters. Look at the, the uh, power line up here shaking. This house is shaking up here. Of course, the house in the foreground is shaking. Um, and oh, by the way, yes, it is raining a little bit. It just started to drizzle a little bit when I started to take this video. Anyway, so there's a good bit of uh, jitters in there. Okay, so I brought the video clip into Prodrenaline version 2, which they call Prodrenaline Plus up here. By the way, I have nothing to do with uh, ProDad or Prodrenaline or any of their products. Uh, I trimmed the video down to about those 25 seconds. You can bring in a clip and you can split it and uh, do some basic video editing. Um, you can also do some enhancements to color and sharpness and brightness and different things. I'm not going to get into that because I'm not really doing a tutorial on Prodrenaline. I don't actually know it well enough to do that. Uh, I just wanted to show what the uh, rolling shutter compensation, so up here in the upper left hand corner, uh, rolling shutter compensation, okay, so and it, it removes CMOS sensor distortions. That's something version 1 did not do. Now over here is stabilization. That's the uh, normal, you know, rocking the camera around left and right, and you're riding on a bike with a GoPro, and it settles all that out, okay? Uh, we don't really need that, of course, with our three-axis gimbals. Uh, but we do have the CMOS distortions. So you can see there's three levels of it here, one, two, and three. You can select whichever one you want. And uh, three corrects the most distortions, uh, but takes the longest. Number one, the least distortions, but, but processes more quickly. Uh, and you can see here it says, okay, so number one, uh, removal of most occurring distortions. Number two, removal of rare wobble distortions. Number three, removal jello or wobble distortions. So anyway, I choose three and uh, I let it crunch on that for a while and it seems to work really well. Of course, I'm gonna show you an example here in just a little bit. Over here on the right, uh, you can also choose to correct the optics of whatever camera you have. You can see it has quite a few different uh, selections here for different kinds of action cams and whatnot. Of course the GoPro is here and I have a Hero 4 uh, Silver and I shot this video in 2.7K 30 medium so that was my selection for correcting the fisheye. Uh, now once you do these couple of things up here it'll ask you, uh, it'll tell you okay you have to analyze the video so that it can make the corrections. Now I already did that so it's not asking me to do that right now. But if I, but if I hadn't, um, it would take, I don't know, about five minutes to process this uh, 25 seconds of video. And that's doing it, you know, uh, in, in the most detailed way it can. Uh, that's with the three stars and stabilization. So, um, so then the next thing to do is to go up here to export and there's some options here. Um, one nice feature is to, uh, you can tell it what kind of video you want and the audio, you can have it use the audio or not, which of course with the GoPro and its microphone and the buzzing of the motors and propellers, it's often nice to eliminate that. So I can uncheck use audio, uh, click save and close. And, uh, and then I'll go ahead and start the export right up here and I already did that as well as you can see that probably took uh, another what did that take maybe another oh I can't remember five or ten minutes to export that video okay so now here's the example of it you click on here okay now you know look up here at the antenna okay it's a little bit of shake in there but it's barely noticeable look at the house you know look wherever you looked in the last video and you know, I would say you know three quarters or more of that jitter is gone now, uh, unless you're looking really closely, or unless you have a lot of jitter, it's gone. 
So, okay, I'm going to make an A-B comparison uh, to end this video, and I'll do that right now. And um, thanks. Just wanted to say one more thing. Um, it's easy to export a comparison video uh, because there's these options up here, view result, uh, horizontal compare, and vertical compare. So if I click on horizontal compare, it's actually going to export uh, the non-pro adrenalin uh, version. And then on the other side, of course, you'll see the corrections. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, be back to you soon. Okay. Just wanted to show you the processing here. As you can see, um, it's not too bad. It's going to be about three minutes total to process that uh, 25 seconds worth of video. Here's the percentage clicking up right here, 18%, 19%, 20%, etc. Okay, so the processing finished. Uh, and then you have a box that pops up right here. And if you want to go ahead and play it right away, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So here it is. So now you can see on the left side, there's quite a bit of little shaking going on there, isn't there? And on the right side, almost nothing. Now I did have the stabilization turned on as well. So it even, you know, the, the solo is wandering around a little bit out there. Uh, it was pretty windy today, 10 to 20 miles an hour. You can see this tree over here blowing, uh, that bush, whatever. Um, so it not only did it take away the jitters and the shakiness, but it also, you know, smoothed out the uh, the little bit of panning and uh, yawing and such that was going on. So, so yeah, that's it. I hope this helps you guys. And um, yeah, y'all take care and have fun with your solos. Alrighty, bye bye.